You have been looking at how the human body copes with very low temperatures, is that right? Yes, that's right. And what have you found? Well, it's an interesting question. Of course, freezing temperatures are bad for the body. You can get frostbite if your skin freezes. And about two-thirds of people whose body temperature falls below 28 degrees Celsius actually die. But at the same time, there are some people who have survived much lower body temperatures and made a full recovery. Can you give us an example? Yes. There's the famous case of a Swedish woman called Anna Borgenholm. She was skiing in the mountains in Norway when she had an accident. How did the accident happen? Well, she went skiing with two colleagues from her hospital. Anna was a doctor, you see, and was studying to become a surgeon. Anyway, the three of them were skiing down a steep mountain when Anna lost control of her skis. She fell onto a sheet of ice, which was actually the surface of a stream. The ice broke, and Anna fell head first through the hole, as far as her waist. Beneath the ice was water, freezing cold water. What did her two friends do? Well, they tried to pull her out by her legs, but she was trapped under the ice. She could breathe because there was some air between the ice and the water, but she couldn't move. After trying for seven minutes to free her, her two colleagues gave up and phoned for help. And did help arrive quickly? Two rescue teams set off to help Anna, one from the top of the mountain and one from the bottom. The one from the top arrived first, but they couldn't pull her out of the ice. What about the second team? The second team managed to get her out by cutting a hole in the ice, but by the time they got her free, she had been in the freezing water for 80 minutes. Anna was not breathing and her heart was not beating. A helicopter took her to hospital. When she arrived, her body temperature was 13.7 degrees Celsius. According to the doctor in charge of the emergency room, Anna was ice cold and looked dead. But I guess she wasn't. Well, no. There's an expression among some doctors. You aren't dead until you're warm and dead. In other words, sometimes people who are extremely cold can come back to life when they get warmer. Doctors at the hospital worked for nine hours to save Anna. When her temperature had risen to 36.4 degrees Celsius, her heart started beating again. Gradually, after many weeks, Anna made a full recovery. That's amazing. Yes. And in 2009, ten years after the accident, Anna got a job working as a doctor in the hospital that had saved her life.